Hello, I'm back here. Another unboxing video from Ringside Collectibles. I told myself I'll keep doing these for the Jushin Thunder Liger toys. And this is the fourth one. We'll come in. I have all the other ones. The neat thing about this one. For once, they actually changed the box art. I saw it online. Some people got them early. Normally, they're in a black boxing. With that look at the bottom. And every single one's like that. They've been having the blue, the nuts edition, exclusive. And then the other ringside exclusive, the, the black and gold. Same box. But now we have the silver. The silver vest cape. And they actually changed the box art. So now it's blue. And it actually has the updated look of what Jushin Thunder Liger looks right before he retired. So this is like his actual final look. Greed inside cape different back as well which is pretty neat I kind of wish they did a different box for every single one to give it its own unique feel but and it's weird too because this is they say it's a ringside exclusive even though when it first was talked about they made it seem like it was going to be on storm collectibles and then just kind of turns to ringside so maybe they did that because of how shipping is nowadays with uh, overseas and stuff but uh, the ringside exclusive, they usually have a sticker on it, and uh, there's no sticker on it. So I don't know if they originally planned it to be, a, I guess, they didn't plan it for a ringside exclusive. Maybe that's why there's no sticker. But, yeah, so now we have all four different types. This is the very first one they created, and now we have silver. The ringside, the other ringside exclusive, black and gold, and then the knots exclusive, the blue, the blue and white and gold, which I think there's only 300 of these. I think, that, but yeah, the difference between the the backs as well. Look at that. So now I have this to my collection of the Jushin Thunder Ligers. I'm going to continue to try to keep getting them all. All the different types that they even, if they continue to release different colors, variants. So yeah, they are pretty expensive. They usually run about like 65 bucks and then shipping and tax. Um, but I feel like if I have all of them. Be kind of a cool collection. I like Jushin Thunder Liger, anything New Japan pro wrestling I enjoy. So, especially if they release any figures for them, I try to get. I uh, I do have the Super Seven New Japan toys all pre-ordered. Of course, we know how that's going. Whoever's keeping up to date with that, it's taken over a year now. Uh, they they now moved the release date to be January. It was originally supposed to come out in July of this year, but because of the pandemic. Uh, they weren't released. Then it got pushed to October, and then once we hit October, it got pushed to January. So, hopefully it'll come out in January. I, I want to do um, a reveal unboxing of those. I'm really excited for those. But yeah, I have the first set already pre-ordered, and the second set pre-ordered as well. The, the second set, they say, is supposed to come out in April. But that's still up in the air, Super 7. I've heard a lot of things about them taking a long time to make them. I understand you have to go through a lot to make figures um but it just makes me sad because i really want them so all right that ends this video of the new the fourth jushin thunder liger figure out of this storm collectible set and uh until next time